two shots, no I'm lady. Like, yeah, yeah, she's fine. Wonder when she'll be mine. She walked past like friends. Imagine that as a highlight intro for Zarya. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into the video. Be sure to check out the description below for the timestamp of what's going to be included in the video. So here's what you're going to be learning in the video today. First, let's go over what you want to absorb for the highest amount of energy. Reinhardt's fire strike ability is the one you want to try to absorb. You can see it coming from a mile away and you can prepare to absorb it. It gives you 50 energy from a single hit. Junkrat's the next hero you want to try to absorb energy from. His grenades are really easy to see coming and they give you 30 energy per hit. Fair and Hanzo both give you the same amount of energy as Junkrat does, but you want to try to absorb Junkrat's shots whenever you can, because after he's launched the grenades, he has no control over them. It's really easy for Fair and Hanzo to stop shooting at you once they've seen your shields go up. Junkrat, on the other hand, can't stop firing his grenades after he's launched them. Against the Roadhog, there's a window of opportunity to shield right as he hooks you. Once you do that, you'll most likely gain 50 energy, unless you're playing against a good Roadhog. And here's the trick with the right click. You'll want to have more than 50 energy because the explosions are bigger. You want to aim your right click right beside the target's feet. This will cause them to fly up a little bit and you'll be able to see where they're going. It makes it easier to aim your right clicks all around. So this is just my playstyle with Zarya. I like to play extremely aggressive, especially when I'm at 100 energy because I know how much damage she does. But more importantly, I know my limits with my shields. Zarya isn't incredibly tanky without her shields. That means you gotta know what to shield and when to shield it. And that usually comes with practice and awareness. Awareness and shield timing is key to maximizing your effectiveness as Zarya. So in this clip, you see me constantly pushing them and pressuring them back. That's because I have 100 energy and I can do that with my right click. And that's what you're meant to be doing. If you have 100 energy, don't just waste it by waiting around. Make sure you're using your right click to harass them. 90% of Zarya is managing your shields correctly to have high amounts of energy within the match. So if you're hovering around 35-40% to 40 energy, you're on the right track. Here's an important thing about Zarya's shields you should know. Her shields only absorb burst damage. And the threshold for that damage is 200. That means ultimates like Reaper or Pharah won't get absorbed completely. They'll absorb the initial 200 damage and then you're just gonna take all of it to the face. So the next time you come across a Reaper or Fair that's ulting and you think, I got this? Think twice. Diva has one of the easiest ultimates to absorb. You can see it coming, there's a huge exclamation point coming at you. All you have to do is shield yourself and sometimes you can shield your teammate in case they have nowhere to run. Ready? Both Tracer and Junkrat have easy ultimates to absorb. You can see them coming and you can hear them coming. So it shouldn't be much of a problem. You can also absorb McCree ults, but you just have to time it well, and that comes with practice. Let's be honest, Hanzo's ult does a terrible job of letting you know when it's coming. How are you supposed to know when that two-headed dragon's coming towards you? Oh, that's right. You guys, you guys will be fine. I'm sure you'll manage to somehow be prepared for that ultimate. And last but not least, you can block Reinhardt's ult with your shield to avoid the knockdown. Timing your shield is very important. It's where you get all your damage from. So if you pop your shield and no one hits it, you're just going to miss out on 10 seconds of where you could have done damage. So what you want to do is you want to pop your shield as you're taking damage, not before, otherwise you'll miss out on a second of damage you could have absorbed. So that means sometimes you just have to man mode it, go out there and just take all the damage they're going to throw at you. Sometimes you'll die, but you'll learn. Another easy way to get your energy up fast is to shield a Reinhardt who has a shield up. Most likely the enemy won't see that the shield's up or they won't care. So long as they aim directly at Reinhardt, your shield should absorb the damage dealt. And another thing to know about her shields is that one shield can only absorb a maximum of 50 energy. That means no matter how much damage you absorb, 50 is the max amount of energy you're ever going to get from one shield. Here's a sneaky trick that I use to get some energy sometimes. When I see an enemy to my left or right or behind me, I don't turn in their direction so they can shoot at me and as soon as I start taking damage, I pop that shield. I can react fast enough because I already knew they were there. So there's two ways I like to charge my ult. One is through my left click, the other one's through my right click. When I use my left click, I usually go for the big targets when I want my ult. It's easy to stay on targets like D.Va and Roadhog with your left click and charge it really fast when you have 100 energy. So in those moments where you really need your ult, just look for the big targets. The other way I charge my ult is through my right click. The moment you want to use your right click to charge your ult is when you're in a situation where both teams are stalling and just firing back and forth at each other. You just want to lob those grenades, hit as many people as you can. Each person you hit gives you 2-3% to of ult charge. It adds up pretty quickly. And when you're trying to charge your ult, make sure you have 100 energy. The more energy you have, the faster your ult charges. And now I'm going to show you just by how much. 
At 100 energy, I was able to get 43% of all charge. And here, when I had zero energy, I was only able to get to 33%. So make sure when you're using your shield, you're taking damage so you can deal more damage and charge your ult faster. Awareness is extremely important when you play Zarya. The more aware you are, the more you'll see opportunities to use your shield to save teammates from Roadhog hooks, D.Va explosions, and other things like that. And in turn, you'll do more damage, you'll save your teammates, and you'll probably win the game because of it. A little awareness goes a long way. I usually prefer to ult three people. However, if there's a Mercy in there, I'll throw my ult out, and she's worth killing if you get two people. Before you pop your ult, make sure you're fully reloaded and have close to 100 energy. Sometimes you'll even see the opportunity to shield the person you're comboing your ult with. This requires a little bit more awareness, but it's worth it. And don't forget to pop your shield when you're ulting. It save you from being CC'd or killed. And make sure when you pop your ult, you combo it with some other hero. There are so many heroes to combo your ult with that you have no excuse not to. And here are your counters and favored matchups. So Farah, Tracer, Hanzo, and Widowmaker all fall under the same category for the same reason. They're hard to catch, they're hard to reach. A Tracer is too fast for Zarya to kill. When Farah is airborne, you can't reach her with any of your abilities. A good sniper will either be at high ground or long range, so you don't have any way to kill them. Against the Reinhardt, it's more of a skill matchup, but if he does charge you, you're most likely going to be dead if you don't have your shield up for it. Reaper and Bastion counter you because of their damage. Their damage output is so high that your shields do nothing against them. They will mow you down as soon as you get close to either of them. Diva, Roadhog, and Winston are the targets you want to be going for. They're big and hard to miss, easy to charge your ult off of. And finally, you counter Zenyatta because you get to remove Discord Orb off of you or an ally with your shield. And that's it for today's video. If you guys liked the content, make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content like this. I'll be releasing a new guide every Thursday. Let me know in the comments down below which hero you'd like to see next. And make sure to check out my previous video if you haven't already seen it. Thanks for watching guys.